you may remember last time I did a computer haul, it was the last video I did, and this was one of the monitors which I got from it, however, um, it, there was a bit of a fault with it, and you know, it had a bit of flickering going on, and it seemed like the port was loose, so I want to look into it today and see if I can do anything about that. Hopefully it's just a loose connection. I did try using Deoxit, if you remember when I was playing the game and it was really annoying me. Do check out PCBWay. They do high quality custom PCBs, single and double sided, as well as both surface mounted and through hull assembly. I'm actually thinking about getting our Sidbox 5 assembled with them once we've finished our PCB design. They have a very fast delivery service, so you will get your PCB delivered to you in no time. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present. This monitor needs the socket at the back. Oh, it's annoying me, it's flickered. So I'm looking around here at the back and it does seem this is quite loose and I think it's, you know, from years of plugging, unplugging, it's like become a bit wobbly. So um, yeah, I think that needs a good soldering on. So yeah, let's unscrew this. So with these you have to be really careful, even though it's unplugged and everything you can still get a massive shock from this uh, because the tube itself, the CRT tube itself is basically one giant capacitor. So this thing needs discharging, I'm just trying to cover up first. You can see the speakers are still in the case, uh, but when I'm going to do this I'm going to, before I touch anything in there I'm going to discharge this first. And how you do that is first you find a ground plane on this, which is you can see here, this wire here with that ground, and you just clip a complete on here. On the other end, you clip it on the screwdriver. As you can see here, you have your ground, you make sure the screwdriver is ground, and then you Prise it underneath this, the high voltage output. Once you touch the probe, then it means it's discharged. Sometimes you will hear a spark or an arc, like a, a zap or something like this. But you make sure it is. But I'm not hearing anything, so it's already discharged. Oh, I did hear something. No, I didn't. It's just the rubber hitting the glass. Anyway, that seems to be discharged. Okay, so to make this less faffy, let's just disconnect the speakers from here. Yeah. I was wondering what that circuit board was. This one here. But it's actually just the headphone socket at the side here. I didn't actually know I had headphone socket until now. I don't think I needed to unscrew this thing. The freak, man. I don't think I needed to unscrew. Okay, so what we're looking at here is this thing. As you can see it wobble a bit. Let's see what if it's the port that needs replacing, or if it just needs. Resoldering on because that seems okay. So, this thing here has become a bit loose. I can, when I put my hand on the pins, I can feel them wobble around. 
when I you know when I try to, when I do this. So that definitely needs resoldering all this. So yeah, let's get the soldering right now. Get your stupid ice cream story. <laughs> Let me do this shot. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do first here is add new solder, which is like reflow. So push this in and then just there we go. Solder to each one uh, again properly. Yeah, that's pretty solid now. There's no waggling around anymore. Okay, so good. That's done. All that's left is to put this. Um, back together, turn it on and check it. This is a bit awkward, this. Too much. Just a little. It's just this one sneaky little screw here that stopped everything from coming out. So the time has come to test this and yeah, once again it's not wobbling anymore like it was. Let's connect it all up to let's just do audio. Actually, the first time I played this game was at a friend's house, and I saw it, and she had a 500 and a monitor. And it was like a computer monitor, so yeah, first time I saw this game was 
and the monitor. Oops. Stupid freaky looking tweaky canary thing. Doing better this game <laughs> this time around than I did back when I played it for nostalgia time a few years ago. Do you know one thing which always bugged me about this game is that this should yes wow that was lucky this should kind of like count down the gems instead of counting up them. when I was introduced to this game. Like the one. I was introduced to this game by seeing other people play this particular one. <laughs> so yeah. That's where this one's a bit special to me. Master Blazer. with Turk. <laughs> but this is um, obviously bold laser but on the Amiga. version of this. Oops. Stupid freak. As interesting as this is, I kind of still prefer the Atari 8-bit version over all the other versions. Okay, so we've determined that the screen works well. There's no more flickering or anything like this. It's perfect. And yeah, so another repair successful. So that's all for today. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and to subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios. Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to those supporters of mine who deserve an extra special thank you. Rich Carpet, Electronscape, Axel Dominator, Steven Leary, Aaron Metcalf, Starlight Minako, Kameltech, and Chris Sablansky. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. Mm -hmm.